Psalm 108, 1. It says, My heart is confident in you, O God. No wonder I can sing your praises. Well, in the King James, it actually says, uh, I, can, I can sing and praise you. And that word praise, you wouldn't know it, but it means to praise God on your instrument. So I can sing and I can praise, I can zamar, praise God on my instrument. So that's number four. Number five is shabak. Shabak is cool, man. Shabak is to command, triumph, to shout. It's a loud one. It's a big one. Some people are like, well, I'm quiet. I'm a, I'm a very, you know what? The Bible says we've got to shabak God. Sometimes we've got to shout to God. Shout with the voice of triumph. Uh, we can look at Psalm 63, 3. Check it out. Psalm 63, 3. It says this. Your unfailing love is better to me than life itself. How I shabak you. Man, that brings a whole new level of meaning to it, doesn't it? Instead of just praise, you are shouting praise. It's powerful. That's shabak. Number six is halal. Halal, everyone. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Cheesy, corny. Halal means to shine, boast, celebrate, be clamorously foolish. Now this is the kind of dancing that David did in 2 Samuel chapter 6 where he was just going nuts because he was so excited about bringing the ark of God back to the people. He was foolish. The Bible tells us there in 2 Samuel 6 that David said, I am willing to act like a fool to show my joy in the Lord. That's pretty amazing. That was what it means to halal. Let's check it out. Uh, in Psalm 35, 18, it says, Then I will thank you in front of the entire congregation. I will halal you before all the people. So it doesn't just mean praise here. It means on a whole new meaning. All of a sudden you realize I'm not just praising God. I am actually dancing like a fool, being willing to act foolish before my God, being shining, boasting, be extravagant in my worship. And some people are like, man, that's not my personality. But the Bible says that we're supposed to do that. And so you have to train yourself to be able to halal before the Lord. That's number six. Number seven is tequila. Yes, I said tequila, not tequila, all right? Now, this one's important. It's a really cool one because what it means is it's like a spontaneous song of the Lord. It's a spiritual song. It's like the song of the Lord that that the Bible talks about in Psalm 43, verse 3. When it talks, it's actually an evangelistic type of, it can be used as an evangelistic type of thing. It says this in, in 43, Psalm 40, verse 3, it says, He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise, a hymn of tequila to our God. It's a new song. A song that comes from the heart, not one we sang over and over and over and over again, but it's the one that you sing from your heart to God. And then it says, basically, like, because of this, many will see what he has done and be astounded, and they will put their trust in the Lord. So you can see how to heal a praise, a spontaneous song of the Lord, can actually be used to bring uh, people to Christ. And then there's one other one I want to give you with to heal a praise. Uh, it's actually in 2 Chronicles 20, uh, verse 22. It has to do with Jehoshaphat. And let's look that up real quick. Second Chronicles. Well, I'll turn to it fast. That's good. Um, at the moment they began to sing, you know, you have to understand this. There was an army that was coming against Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat asked the Lord, "Should we fight them?" And he and the Lord said, "Yes, I'll give you the victory. Just take up your place. You won't even have to fight, and I will help you to win." And so. When they did that, when they obeyed the Lord, they showed up. This is where they put the singers in front, and they went to battle. And it says, At the moment they began to sing and give Tehila praise, the Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir to start fighting among themselves. So the Tehila praise is also one that can be used for war, to kill the enemy, a spontaneous song of the Lord. So anyway, that's the seven Hebrew words for praise. I hope you understand the depth of meaning now that there is to the word praise and that you'll start to look them up, man. When you see it, grab your concordance, look it up, see which one that praise is so you know how you're supposed to respond. All right, thanks a lot. God bless you. Unbe